Hi, welcome to TGN YouTube channel. I'm Jason. Today we will be unboxing the latest access point from Ubiquiti. Alright, so we have the U6 Pro. Alright, so this is a model that's in between the U6LR and the U6 Lite. Alright, I'm not going to go too much into the technical. I'll have another different video about that and how to set it up. But today what we're going to do is we're going to do it doing the unboxing to take a look at see what's inside the box all right so this is basically to let you know what you're buying or prior to buying okay now as with all the u6 uh, ap's from u6 light onwards to u6 lr ubiquity has actually stopped uh, providing the access uh, the injectors so on hand i have two different injectors you can see that even though they are the same size but one is actually the af standard and one is actually the 24 volts that you use for the MX series okay so you can see the difference is there is an extra bracket here okay I'm trying to see if you can see on the screen all right so other than that uh, the PoE indicators the PoE indicators for the 802.03 AF or AT standard there will be a red color indicator for the PoE whereas for the 24 volts it's just gray color against the white background all right so do take note of the difference now if you need to purchase a injector for the U6 Lite okay for the U6 Lite you can use the AF standard now for the U6 Pro and the U6 long range okay LR we will have to use the AO2.08 T okay which is the 30 watts all right so take note of the difference the part number for that is the U-POE-AT okay that will be the model that we use for the U6 Pro and the U6 LR okay so take note of that other than that, that these are the small little things that you have to be aware of and take note of okay other than that now the next thing is we have to take a look at the unit itself as we are opening it up okay so let's see what we can do here on the unit right so this is the packaging and you can see that it's actually thinner than the u6 lr okay it's definitely much thinner in terms of the size okay from what i know is the base is about similar to the ac pro okay so for those who have ac pro you will know that it is basically um, flatter it's flat okay so let's open up the unit and take a look what's inside okay let me put this one corner one corner so you can see right so from the unit itself you can see that there is a uh, plastic protection on the unit as with the u6 light and the u6 lr okay you have seen my previous videos right so for the unit itself is uh, you can feel that it's metallic all right it's very much different it's similar to the nano hd material it's unlike the AC Lite or the AC LR or the AC Pro where it's plasticky. This is not plasticky anymore, okay? So from the back, uh, you can see that there is only one LAN port and it actually states here for the IPX, so the outdoor protection is IPX54, all right? So you can see over here that uh, it actually mentions it. And um, other than that, everything else the same. Now, for the AP, the accessories that comes with it, okay the accessories that come with it you will see that it has the labels okay and it includes the leveler okay so you make sure that when you're installing it you can level it and same with the u6 lr it actually comes with the professional mount okay you can see here it actually provides the metal plate for the mount all right and indirectly acts as a form of uh, heatsink to cool off the heat from the ap and here we have the standard metal plate that comes with it. It comes with all the APs, the, what I know. Right, on top of the mounts and all those provided, they have the waterproof cover, okay? And the screw sets. Okay, so there is a screw set and also there is the QR code, okay? So all these are all provided for. These are the screw sets that comes uh, and actually have all the screws and the mounts for the professional mount that comes with it, the kit. So these are all the screws, they're all set up nicely and all there for you, okay? So it's very, very neat and tidy as usual. They have actually thought of everything and all the things that you need for mounting the AP, okay? Except other than that, this time around, they believe that you shouldn't need an injector, you should be using a PoE switch to be powering this category of APs, especially for Wi-Fi 6. 
all right so for those individuals home users who wish to upgrade from the existing system and they want to use the injector be sure to get the right model of injector to use other than that uh, basically controller wise update to the latest if you can at least a 6.26 okay to be able to use all this functionality okay speed test has been done uh, it's able to heat up to 800 megabits on Wi-Fi if you have a proper Wi-Fi 6 card okay that's not an issue up down 800 no issues all right I've done it and I've seen it and it's possible okay other than that uh, if you have any questions or comments please feel free to write at the bottom we will be around to answer it and we will try our best to answer them as soon as we can okay if you do like my channel please do remember to subscribe and if you like the video please remember to click like all right thank you very much Bye-bye.